Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. Now, this is a particularly exciting one because KDP hardcover books have arrived. That's right, you can now create hardcover books on the KDP platform, which you will see here when you log into the KDP platform. But not only that, you can now also easily convert your paperback books into hardcover versions. Again, you can see here when you log into the KDP platform. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to go over the features of these new books. And also, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way using free software, how to convert your current paperback books into hardcover versions. And there are some important steps that we need to consider when we do this, but we will go through these in a moment. Now, what sort of books are these useful for? Well, you could convert any of your books into hardcover versions, and it's free to do so, so why not? But the sort of books that may be particularly suited to this version are things like journals, planners, diaries, five-year journals, five-year planners, the sort of books that people like to keep. And also, some types of logbooks would also be useful for this version as well, uh, particularly things like, you know, accountancy ledgers, business logbooks, those sort of books that businesses, people need to keep for longer periods of time. But I think, you know, a lot of books would be suited to the hardcover version. And I think many people would like to choose this as an option. And the beauty of these types of books is that you can now spread yourself further on the Amazon KDP platform and hopefully, you know, make more income, which is what we're in this business for. So let's get to it. Now in the KDP help section, there is a description of these new types of books. And basically they are called case laminate hardcovers. They are hardcovers, but don't have the, the soft paper dust jacket that some books have. Now they are available in only five trim sizes. However, the most common sizes of six by nine inches and 8.5 by 11 inches are available. Books have to be between 75 to 550 pages. They're only available on six marketplaces at the moment. That's the US, UK, Spain, France, Italy, and Germany. They're not yet available in Canada or Australia, but I'm sure that'll come along in the future. And there are some important factors to consider, like the title, um, cover size, and print costs, which we will go through when we come to show you how to convert one of your books. So let's get straight onto it. So when you've logged into your KDP platform, you'll see this option here to create a hardcover from your existing paperback cover. Now, the example I'm going to show you today is a lined notebook from a video I did recently on how to create a basic line notebook and upload it to the KDP platform, which I'll leave a link to above here and also in the description below. And that's very useful if you are starting out in this business and want to learn how to create one of these books and get it onto Amazon and become a, an, an author publisher. So the first thing to do is click on create hardcover. And when you do that, you'll see that KDP has filled out all the options on this first page for you. So all the original keywords, categories, title, subtitle, and description. Now in the keywords, you may want to add in there hardcover, hardcover book. So people, you know, who may be searching for hardcovers have a greater chance of finding your book. Now, when it comes to the title, what KDP recommends you're doing is keeping the same title so that the hardcover version is listed alongside the paperback version as an option. Now, when it comes to the subtitle, personally, I would probably keep that the same as well. Some people may be tempted to put in hardcover there, but for the time being, I'd probably keep that the same just to make sure that your book does get listed alongside your, your paperback version. So in essence, I'd keep everything the same, add into the description that it's a hardcover book, add in hardcover to the keywords, then click on save and continue. Now you will need to click on this, assign me a free KDP ISBN because these hardcover books will need a different ISBN number to the paperback books that you've already published. So we'll click on that, click on assign ISBN. Then we scroll down to the print options and we're going to keep this as black and white interior because we're going to be using the same interior that we used for the paperback versions that doesn't change as long as it's the same dimensions 
as those that are allowed. So if we click here on the different sizes, we can see there are only five different options available. So if your book is not one of these sizes, then you would have to change your interior to conform to one of these five options. The book that I previously published was a six by nine inch book. So we're going to stick with six by nine inches. The bleed settings would remain the same. This is a lined journal. So we're going to click on bleed and we've got the two options, the same as the paperback options of matte and glossy cover. I'm gonna to stick to the, the matte cover. I don't know if any of you guys have ordered any of your books, but I actually prefer the matte cover, but I've heard that uh, if the cover is very dark or black, that glossy might be better because it doesn't show up the fingerprints as much. Now, as I said, we're going to use the same interior. Now, the interior I used when creating my lined journal was the free lined paper interior that I've got here on my Gumroad shop, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. You can click on that, and that is absolutely free to download. It's a six by nine inch, 120 page interior. So you just click on upload hardcover manuscript, and when you click that button, uploaded it from your computer, just wait for it to upload. It normally doesn't take that long. Now, once that has uploaded, you now come to the book cover, and this is one of the changes in that the dimensions of the template of the book cover have changed from the paperback version. Now, you could launch Cover Creator and create it on the KDP platform, but I'm going to upload a cover that I'm going to make myself. So now we need to upload the cover file. Now, in that previous video, I created the cover in Canva, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now, Canva is free for the basic version, and that's exactly where I created my previous cover, which you can see here. This was the, the old six by nine inch version. So when you create your account, or if you already have an account, go to the top right hand corner and click on custom size. Now we need to know what the size of our template is going to be. And KDP has now created a custom cover template creator. So if you click on the link in the KDP help section, it'll take you to this cover template calculator. Now, previously you used to do all this on a site called bookout.com, but you no longer need to do that. You can get all your template sizes for the book cover from KDP in for both paperback and hardback versions. So for this, we're going to do the hardcover. So we click on hardcover. Interior type is black and white. Paper type is white paper. Page turn direction. Now this initially uh, fooled me, but for normal books, it's called left to right. So choose that one. Measurement units, we want inches, interior trim size, choose one of the five options, which is six by nine. Page count, 120. Then click on calculate dimensions, and it tells you the dimensions here. But what we want is to download the template. So go ahead and click that. Now here on the left, we have the template for the hardcover book, which I've downloaded. And on the right here is the old template for the paperback version. And you'll notice some differences. One is the hardback version is larger than the paperback version. And this pink border, which is the sort of the, the bleed border, if you like, is larger than the paperback version. Now the, the cover will have to go right to the edges of the, the pink border, but all important contents like, you know, some images, uh, writing will have to stay within the pink border. And also the other difference is uh, the spine is slightly uh, wider or thicker as well. Now, if we enlarge our template and look over to the right hand side, we've got these dimensions here, which is 14.034 inches by 10.417 inches. And that's the important figure we need to know or, or use in creating our template. So let's go back over to Canva. Now, normally when you click on custom size, it will say PX for pixels here. And this is a mistake a lot of people make. You actually need to change that to inches and then put in those dimensions that we've just mentioned. So 14.034 by 10.417 and just click on create new design. And here we have our blank template. Now what you need to do is click on uploads. You want to drag in the template we've just created to the upload section. So just find where you've downloaded the template to and just drag that across into the upload section. Now you can see I'd already done that. And then just drag that across into the blank area, move that into place. It will nicely click into place and just drag to fill the whole blank area. Now what you'll need to do is have open 
the previous paperback version of the cover you've created. Now, if you just click on the, the background, press Command C or Control C to copy, go over to our new page and just Command V or Control V to paste. And again, you might want need to move that into position into the top left hand corner or wherever, and then just drag into position and we need to drag down a bit just to cover the whole area. Now we want to make this a bit transparent because we want to see the template underneath. So just turn down the transparency just a, a touch to you know 50 to 60%. Then if we go back to our cover, we now holding down shift want to select all these graphical elements like so, and then Command C or Control C to copy, go back to our new cover and Command V or Control V to paste. And you will see we've got all these elements here. Now you could move those so that they are within this pink border, which this just appears to, to fit. And you can adjust the sizes of those if you want. So we'll just drag that and make sure it is within that pink border. If it is without outside that pink border, you may get a message um, from KDP when you try to upload your book that there is an error. Now what we need to do is click on the background to the cover again, click on our transparency and turn that back up to 100. And now we have our cover template. Now you could add some text down the spine if you wanted to. For this, we're just going to leave it as is. Now we want to download that. So top right hand corner, click on download. File type is PDF print. That's a high quality print. So click on that and just click on download. You could delete that template that was underneath the, the cover layer. So once that's downloaded, go back to the KDP platform, click on upload your cover file, find where you downloaded the book to, double click on it and upload it to the platform. That may take a few moments depending on your internet speed. So that is now uploaded. You can leave this checkbox blank here because we're not uploading our own ISBN barcode. Then click on Launch Preview, and this will show us a preview of what our book is going to look like. And again, this can take uh, sometimes a few minutes. Now, while that's doing its business, I just want to, to make a small note. Some people may say, well, why not take your old cover, put it over the new template, and just stretch it into place? Well, you may find that there's issues in that the lettering may become distorted. You may find some of the graphical elements or writing may not stay within that pink border. So it's better to create the new background and put the uh, front elements, if you like, uh, redo it and put that within the pink box on the template. So here we have now in the print previewer, our book and we can see all the elements are in the right place. We don't have any nasty red warning triangles or anything down here on the left hand side which may indicate a problem. We can then turn over the pages and look at the interior. Again, no red warning triangles, no issues down the left hand side menu to note, which I wouldn't expect anyway with this interior because I've used it on lots of books and so have many other people as well. So you could go through all 120 pages if you want, I don't need to, so I'm going to cl click on Approve. So now we come down to this section of the summary, and this is going to be one of the big differences and is going to affect how much you sell your book for. And you can see the printing cost here is quite high. It's $6.94. Now for a paperback version, I think it was in the region of about $2.20 to, to $2.40, something like that. So this is a significant difference. So you're gonna to have to factor that in when you price your book. Now at the moment, there's not gonna be that many hardcover books, uh, notebooks, journals uh, from KDP published on Amazon. So it's gonna be difficult to, to get that price right compared to, to other publishers. But we'll come on to that in one second. So we just click on save and continue. We're gonna leave this selected, all territories uh, worldwide rights. Primary marketplace, I always choose amazon.com. So now we come to our list price. Now it says here, minimum price of $11.57. Now if we take into account that normally for a notebook, I'd sell at $6.99. These look to be about $4.50 more expensive in printing costs. So you're looking at probably somewhere around, if you know, if you're going to make the same profit, somewhere around the $12 or $13.99 mark. So we'll enter that and it should tell us what our royalty is, $1.45. So we may look looking at even more, $14.49 to get our royalty up to about the same amount. 
maybe even $14.99. So that's probably more in the region, somewhere between $14.49 to $14.99. So whether there is a huge market for notebooks, this type of books at this price, um, we'll have to wait and see. But again, for certain types of books, this may be a, you know, a really good option that people will want. And I normally just leave these other options here as is. I may round up or round down some of the numbers here. So in the UK, £10.86, I may just change that to, to £10.99 and, and same for the, the euro prices as well. And then it's just a case of clicking on publish your hardback cover and you've now got the hardback version. Now I haven't got an example to show you of a listing at the moment where it shows you the, uh, the paperback version and the hardcover version together. But as I say, it's free. There's no harm in doing it and it just gives customers that alternative option, which may increase your chances of getting a sale. So it's all new. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments if you do have any issues, do have any problems. I'll be looking uh, a bit more detail at creating one of these books and doing a video of uploading one of these uh, new hardcover books as well. Thank you very much for your, for your time. It's very much appreciated. If you are new to publishing or want to watch that video where I created that notebook and interior and uploaded it to Amazon, then click this video next where I run through it in detail. Again, thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. And until next time, goodbye.